Hi engineers, congratulations, you made it to MIT. This video will explain the physical education and wellness swim test process, information about swim courses, and the boat test to, you know, get one step closer to becoming a pirate. In order to fulfill the graduation requirement for the institute, you must complete a swim class offered by the physical education and wellness program or pass the basic swim test. Knowing how to swim opens up opportunities for taking courses like sailing. During the swim test, lifeguards and physical education and wellness faculty, instructors, and staff will be on deck to help and answer any questions. Here's the test breakdown and process. The basic swim test requires you to swim 100 yards, four lengths of the pool without stopping. The test is self-paced. That means you can go as slow or as fast as you want. It's definitely not a race. There will be a designated slow lane along the wall where the lifeguard is stationed if you haven't been in the water for a while or you are concerned about your endurance. You may choose whichever lane you are most comfortable with. Once you select a lane, you must jump into the pool feet first. You are not permitted to lower yourself into the pool by holding onto the sides, nor are you allowed to dive in head first. Once in the water, you may choose any swim stroke, but the first three lengths, 75 yards, must be performed on your front or side. Only during the fourth length, the last 25 yards, can you swim on your back. Swimming must be continuous. However, you may use the wall for turning or pushing off. Simply touch and go. Do not hold on to rest. Once you complete four lengths, exit the pool. You will either receive a card indicating that you need to take a beginning swim class, or a card indicating that you successfully completed the swim test. If you do not know how to swim, or do not have the endurance to pass the test, that's okay. Please don't take the test. Rather, talk with one of the staff at the checkout station for guidance on how to enroll in a beginning swim course. You will still get your t-shirt at checkout. Remember, in order to fulfill the swimming requirement for graduation, you only need to pass the basic swim test or pass a beginning swim course. If you want to take a boating class at MIT, complete the small boats test by going to the boat test lane directly after you complete the basic swim test and hand in the card showing you pass the swim test. When the monitor tells you, jump in the pool feet first and tread water for five minutes. This is the test. If completed, you'll receive a card indicating that you pass both the boat and swim test. In preparation for the swim test, students have shared the following tips that they feel has worked for them. First, practice once before the test. Check out the MIT Recreation swim schedule. Tie your hair back to make breathing easier, and wear goggles if you don't like to open your eyes underwater. And finally, here's how to make sure your swim test attendance is confirmed and you get your swag. Turn your card in at the checkout desk. Even if you do not pass the test, you will still need to go through the checkout process. Every first year student gets a Daper class t-shirt during orientation. Completing your swim and boat test will give you the option of taking boating courses, scuba diving, and of course get your pirate certificate. If you have any questions during the test, always feel free to ask any of the instructors or staff on deck. Regardless of the test outcome, remember, you're amazing. Plus, you made it into MIT, which is, well, pretty awesome.